Good morning. I'm Ken saying welcome to Dragon Trek. This morning is another morning for night hiking. And you know I've hi night hiked before without issue. <laughs> this morning is not that one of those. Somehow I didn't find the blue blaze out of the camp and I got lost. <laughs> And I tried to find my way for 45 minutes before I decided to sit down and wait for sunlight and other hikers starting moving in camp. I, I know I'm close, but I don't know where. Or I'm assuming I'm close based on, on the information on Far Out. I always have a compass with me. But for some reason, I don't right now, which is a little annoying. That would have helped. It's 5.41. I got on trail 5.30, an hour and a half later than I expected. And as I had expected when there were more light, I found the trail easily. Or what I thought was the trail. And I used the GPS location on the Far Out app to confirm that as I was following what I thought was the trail, actually was the trail. And in the darkness, I had looked at my GPS position and in an effort to save batteries, turned it off, put it in my pocket and walked in the direction I thought would bring me closer to the trail. And then I repeated that checking the GPS and walking in a direction I thought would get me closer. Turning it off to save batteries. Why do I have to learn things the hard way? I mean, why couldn't I just kept looking at the GPS on far out from the beginning? And this would have been solved 90 minutes ago. Sheesh. Today it will be approximately 8 miles. Uh, it is day 5 back on trail. Going into town, Great Barrington, Massachusetts. The views are a little bit misty this morning, but I'm sure they will change with time. My foot is still bothering me, but it doesn't seem to impede my pace. And I ate beef jerky for the first time in my life today. It may not be my normal jovial self right now, but my foot. Uh, it feels like I'm walking slower, but according to the time, the two hours that I've passed, I've done two miles, which is normal. We're going down and my foot hurts more when we're going down or going up when we're level it's pretty fine views less misty but it seems we're going down here okay i'm almost at the treetops and these trees are tall and 
go way down there. Uh, okay, just came from my first trail magic since I came back on trail. Uh, I got a Gatorade, a yellow one this time, my second ever. I uh, had a banana. I had some sort of uh, dessert. Anyway, I don't know what type. The last one he had, I had a chocolate chip muffin and I refilled all of my water. And, uh, and he had a chair I could sit in to, to rest and I, I needed all of those things. It was so good. Nice views. Not so much elevation. But the views are nice nevertheless. Some flowers. Bushes. A field surrounded by trees. There's even a fence to make sure we don't enter into the field. But there's a door over there too. Or a gate rather. <sighs> wait, wait. No, th those are cows. Moo. You see the cows? There's two of them. Three of them? By far, that is the largest animal I've seen on trail. <laughs> that's a nice tree. Some more. Oh, yeah, that's another nice tree. Well, that's the woods. It seems very tight. Can't really sneak into there. And this is whatever bushes or, or trees to uh, the next property. And the trail goes right between them. From what I heard, this is a swampy area. So I understand why they do this. Makes it a lot easier for the hikers. All the planks are the, the planks have ended and now we're in another green tunnel with, with a lot of water on the side hi this is editing can say unfortunately i forgot to shoot an ending of uh, today's hike so keep on checking <laughs>